क्वेश्चन इज गिवेन x प्लस टू टाइम्स x प्लस थ्री टाइम्स x प्लस फोर टाइम्स x प्लस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय x माइनस टू टाइम्स x माइनस थ्री टाइम्स x माइनस फोर टाइम्स x माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू वन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू ऑफ x हियर हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू ऑफ x लेट्स सी सॉल्यूशन x प्लस टू टाइम्स x प्लस थ्री टाइम्स x प्लस फोर टाइम्स x प्लस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय x माइनस टू टाइम्स x माइनस थ्री टाइम्स x माइनस फोर टाइम्स x माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू वन दिस इज गिवन क्वेश्चन सो वी कैन डू हियर वन थिंग वी कैन डू सम प्लेसमेंट हियर सो वी कैन राइट दिस x प्लस टू टाइम्स x प्लस फाइव दिस वन टाइम्स x प्लस थ्री दिस वन टाइम्स x प्लस फोर डिवाइडेड बाय x माइनस टू टाइम्स x माइनस फाइव टाइम्स x माइनस थ्री टाइम्स x माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू वन राइट नाउ we can here multiply this by this so we can write here x times first bracket x times x plus 5 plus 2 times x plus 5 here x times x plus 4 plus 3 times x plus 4 Divided by same here, this one x times x minus five minus two times x minus five x times x minus four minus three times x minus four bracket close is equal to one. Now. x times x that is x square so it will become x square plus 5x plus 2x plus 5 to the 10 bracket close now x times x square plus 4x plus 3x 4 to the 12 plus 12 bracket close Divided by x times x square, so x square minus five x minus two x minus minus plus two five is a ten plus ten times x square minus four x minus three x four three is a twelve minus minus plus, so it will become four three is a twelve. Bracket close is equal to one. Now we got here two equation: x square plus five x plus two x plus ten, x square plus four x plus three x plus twelve. So we can again simplify this one. So x square plus five x plus two x, five x plus two x, seven x plus ten. This is from first bracket. Next one is x square plus four x plus three x, seven x. Plus twelve divided by x square minus five x minus two x minus seven x plus ten times x square minus four x minus three x minus seven x plus twelve is equal to one. Right now. We can do here one thing. If you can see, this is same number x square plus seven x plus ten, and here x square minus seven x plus ten, right? Uh, so we can write here x square plus seven x plus ten. This is first, so we can write it x square plus seven x plus ten is equal to m. We are considering here x square plus seven x plus ten is equal to m. Next one is x square minus seven x plus ten. So 
x square minus 7 x plus 10 is equal to n right now if this is m so we can write this x square plus 7 x plus 12 we can write here x square plus 7 x plus 10 plus 2 so x square plus 7 x plus 10 is equal to m so we can write here m plus 2 right and here same way we can write n minus no sorry n plus 2 right so we can write here m times this is m so m times m plus 2 m times m plus 2 divided by this is n so n times n plus 2 n plus 2 is equal to 1 you can write here this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 now m times m plus 2 divided by n times n plus 2 so we can write this one m times m that is m square plus 2m divided by n square plus 2n is equal to 1 right we are doing cross multiplication here so we can write this m square plus 2m is equal to n square plus 2n n square plus 2n right now m square minus n square plus 2m minus 2n is equal to 0 we can write this way now m square minus n square here this is m square minus n square so formula of a square minus b square is a plus b a minus b so we can write this number as m minus n m, uh, m plus n m minus n so here we can write m plus n times m minus n plus 2 is common here so we can take common to m minus n is equal to 0 now we are taking m minus n common here because in this uh, here m plus n times m minus n plus 2 times m minus n so we can take common m minus n so m minus n we are taking common so left term that is m plus n plus 2 is equal to 0 now we got here two equation first one is m minus n is equal to 0 and next one is m plus n plus 2 is equal to 0 so first one is m minus n is equal to 0 and next one is m plus n plus 2 is equal to 0 so here m minus n is equal to 0 therefore we can say m is equal to n m is equal to n and here so this is case 1 we are taking this is case 1 next we are solving this case 2 so case 1 m is equal to n now recall the value of m and n so m is equal to we are already uh, substitute value of m that is x uh, x square plus 7x plus 10 right now is equal to next one is value of n that is x square minus 7x plus 10 from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 so x square plus 7x plus 10 and here x square minus uh, 7x plus 10 so we can cancel here x square x square plus 10x plus 10x right now plus 7x minus 7x so here 7x is equal to minus 7x so we can write this 7x plus 7x is equal to 0 now 7x plus 7x 14x is equal to 0 therefore value of x is equal to 0 here right we got the first value of x now we are taking case 2 that is m plus n plus 2 is equal to 0 now we are taking this one so case 2 m plus n plus 2 is equal to 0 now value of m that is x square plus 7x plus 10 plus n value of n is x square minus 7x plus 10 and plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 right now x square and x square so we can say here sorry this will not uh, cancel because this is plus and this is also plus so x square plus x square it will become 2x square here 
plus 7x minus 7x this will become cancel so left term that is plus 10 here and here 10 plus 2 so we can write this is 10 10 20 plus 2 that is 22 so 2x square plus 22 is equal to 0 right now we are taking 2 common here so 2 we are taking common so x square plus 11 is equal to 0 now divide by 2 for cancelling this 2 so divide by 2 so we can write this 2 times x square plus 11 is equal to 0 and we have to divide by 2 so this 2 is cancelled from this 2 so left term that is x square plus 11 is equal to 0 so here x square is equal to minus 11 right now taking square root both sides because we have to find out the value of x so taking square root both sides then we will get here square root of x square is equal to minus 11 square root now this one is cancelled from this one square is cancelled from square root so x is equal to now we got here uh, square root of minus 11 right now x is equal to we can write this x is equal to uh, this will become plus minus plus minus plus minus yeah, this is 11 and this is minus so minus uh, is that is i square value of minus 1 is i square so this one is cancelled from this one so left term that is x is equal to plus minus square root of 11 and this will become i so we can say value of x is equal to plus minus square root of 11 i this is the value of x but this is imaginary solution right so we can verify for x is equal to 0 so let's verify for x is equal to 0 let's verify if x is equal to 0 so question is x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 times x plus 5 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 times x minus 5 is equal to 1 this is quotient now we have to substitute value of x is equal to 0 here so we can write here 0 plus 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0 plus 4 times 0 plus 5 divided by 0 minus 2 times 0 minus 3 times 0 minus 4 times 0 minus 5 question mark 1 right now 0 plus 2 so it will become here 2 times 0 plus 3 3 times 0 plus 4 4 times 0 plus 5 is 5 divided by 0 minus 2 minus 2 times minus 3 times minus 4 sorry this is times minus 4 times minus 5 question mark 1 now when we are multiplying this term we will get here 120 right so 120 divided by and here 6 times 3 2s are 6 and minus minus plus so 6 times 5 4s are 20 and minus minus plus so here 20 question mark 1 now 120 divided by 6 2s are 12 0 120 is equal to 1 so we can say here lhs is equal to rhs so value of x is equal to 0 this is correct solution for this equation thank you